So, continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a trauma duo? Part 2? Did I speak about Gohan and 16 in an older video? I think I did. I think I spoke about a future Gohan and a 16. I think it was Sam that made the card. No. No, it was Zam. It was either Zam or Sam. Funny, because, you know, their names are similar, except one is Sam, and then one is Zam. But uh, before I go ahead and read Sam's card, send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can get to your card in the near future. Well, I'm getting all the older custom cards out the way. Now, I did write down a new format that I'm doing for custom card reviews, as well as Una reviews. I updated my old format of Una reviews on how I do them, and I updated, well, I didn't really have a format for custom card reviews, I just went guns blazing into all of them. Um, I created a format just completely fresh and new for custom card reviews, so I think that, uh, I think these are gonna be a bit more, like, organized, so to say, <laughs> rather than just me just talking about you and just giving my thoughts here and there. So, let's go ahead and jump straight into this card now with that being said <laughs> uh we have a we have a friendship between human and android super saiyan gohan youth and android 16 they are super and uh i am blocking that let's move myself over here okay i'm not blocking it no more okay so these are their stats as shown it is a little tiny i could zoom in a bit so you guys can see it better that looks a lot better for sure okay so their leader skill is uh uh, can I highlight it? I could highlight it, but it doesn't really look good when I highlight it. So the leader skill is Anderson Cell Saga or Join Forces 3, Key, and 1, 70% across the board. And their 30% of the stats is to Bond of Friendship or Entrusted Will. Okay, so we do have their 200% leader skill, of course, courtesy of Sam for leaving it inside a attachment uh, reply message below. And first glance, right? It doesn't really look that crazy. Like, like, look at all the LRs that are on this 200% leader skill. It's like Trunks and Broly's. I know you have the Battle Road Easy Aid uh, Trunks. No. Uh, you have the Easy Aid LR Gohan. He's a outdated stacker. You have Easy Aid uh, LR Goten and Trunks. No. Tien and Chaozu. No. Uh, LR Future Trunks again. No. Um, of course, the one that kills the androids. Um, you have uh, Dom Shampooar, no, uh, you have, <laughs> you have GT Trio, no, it's like LRs, uh, outside of like Broly Trio, the LR Gammas, and Gohan, it's not looking all the crazy. Did I glance over any other LRs? I don't think I have. And you look at TURs, um, I mean, you have Gohan and Piccolo for like Bond of master and disciple characters i'm pretty sure they're support type units of the category that they lead i'm pretty certain um who else i might glance over some units you have <laughs> you got super trunks hey you got super trunks <laughs> um but <laughs> yeah 50 percent support tn the the team is not looking all that crazy yeah this guy jesus okay um someone sent me a custom card that is similar to this guy but like way better i think i saw it in like a little uh on the little the header for like the email i didn't click on it but i saw it i think uh it's gonna be pretty interesting when we get to it you know who you are by the way who sent that <laughs> but anyways uh of course they're a dokuf stur their stats are as shown they're at 14,364 attack and they're at 11,526 defense hp i mean is pretty much 18k plus okay and their super attack effect they gain 50 percent attack and defense for four turns while doing immense damage to the enemy and having a 30 percent chance to seal not too crazy on that 30 percent chance to seal but that 50 percent attack and defense for four turns is very strong so all in all i would say that just based off of them gaining a multi-turn attack and defensive buff is that's good and that being a 50 percent attack and defensive race for those four turns is obviously good that 30 percent chance to seal not so good though so 58 percent attack and 160 percent defense at the start of turn and you would get an additional 160 percent attack when performing a super attack okay and guards for the first four turns from character's entry turn plus an additional 58 percent attack and defense per attack performed up to 160 percent so that is how many attacks i think that's about what's that about 
three or four attacks. I believe it's about three off the top of my head. Like about three attacks you have to do to fully build up. Yeah, so just about like three attacks you have to do to fully build up. And launches an additional super attack when there is a Angel Sass Cell Saga category ally attack in the same turn. Or when there is a Angel Sass Cell Saga category enemy. Launches an additional attack that has a 50% chance to come with super attack when there is an enemy that has Cell in their name, of course. Cell Juniors excluded. Performs a guarantee crits when there are three Super Saiyans category characters on the team. Okay, so you get additional super attack chance when you go up against a cell, as well as a guarantee crits when you have three Super Saiyans on the team. Okay, so we're we're pretty creative on the passive. I do like it. I like the creativity, absolutely. Okay, so uh should I read? Let me read, let me read the Axel actually. Okay, so the Axel exchange into Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth. And you can exchange when HP is 58% or below, starting from the fifth turn of battle. Okay, so fifth turn. All right. Okay, so a couple things here. Um, What are we looking like on the defensive end? Which, of course, is more important, obviously, because, I mean, Defense is more important than Dokkan than offense. I mean, obviously, right? Because, like, there's a, a bajillion units that can do a, a great offensive thing. So, you guys just take a look at... Although, it, these are nuking turns on Dokkan World's videos. Um, take a look at what these cards are doing, attack stat-wise. Jeez. I mean, even if they're just, like, nuking. Or just having regular, strong attacking turns. So... What is this card doing on the defensive end? This card does start out with 160% defense at the start of the turn. They get guard for the first four turns, which is obviously nice. They build up defense with each attack perform. I believe that's about three attacks they need to build up. They could additional super up to two times in their passive because they get that guaranteed super when you have a Andrus has Cell Saga category ally attack in the same turn, or when you go up against that specific Andrus has Cell Saga category enemy. So that's very easy to get off because you're going to be running an Andrus has Cell Saga character on the same turn with you to get that activated. And they have additional super attack chance when you're facing a cell. So they can do up to two plus supers from their passive to, of course, greatly raise your defense more. And that is about it. Two plus supers. One being guaranteed and one being additional super attack chance. They build up defense with three plus attacks performed. And they also have 160% defense while guarding for the first four turns. Now that guard for the first four turns is uh, your protection until you get into the active skill turn for Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. So I definitely see where the design is for this unit because of course it's fifth turn for the start of battle. You start this, this unit on the first turn, um, those four turns elapse, you get to the fifth turn and of course you exchange into Gohan. But the thing is, is that you have to be below the HP threshold. So that is what he's looking like on the defensive end inside their base form. Now on the offensive end, 58% attack, 160% attack when performing a super attack, as well as of course, you're building up attack with your defense, but more so with the attack thing, of course, it's they coincide with each other, but you're building up attack. Uh, I believe that's still three attacks. I believe that's just a, a guess I'm making. Uh, as well as the uh, additional super attack chance, as well as the guarantee super attack built into them. That just goes hand in hand for both the defensive and offensive end. As well as guarantee crits. So guarantee crits build up attack as well as attack when performing a super while starting out with an attack buff. While doing up to two plus supers. One being guaranteed and one being additional super attack chance. Um, Looking solid i would say the card is looking solid for sure now um i would say a couple of things that i would probably add to this card is giving them 160 percent attack with defense for sure so that with their 50 percent attack and defense for four turns on their super attack pick which is obviously quite good that can really help them uh, on the defensive end uh, just a tad bit more because they only have guard for the first four turns now but yeah, i wouldn't even add hmm i would probably make him a support type unit too but then that'll be it yeah probably make him a support type unit to uh andrus s cell saga maybe like three key and like 30 percent attack and defense make him a support type unit and then just gave him give him like a defensive buff on super and their passive with their attack buff on super and that'll be it that'll be the only things uh, I, I would add to this card i see where um <laughs> i see where uh, sam's going with the design because that guard for the first four turns you lose your guard and then you pretty much just go straight into super saiyan 2 gone yeah absolutely i wouldn't add any more defensive abilities to this character 
other than the defense on super right over here and that's it yeah that's all <laughs> that's that's all because you want to get into super saiyan 2 gone right you want to take that damage to get into it um now could this be an issue for you by the fifth turn is 58 percent manageable hmm, because these bosses are obviously killing you instantly nowadays I don't know, and that is fifth turn, too. So maybe the activation condition could be a bit of a problem. I think if it was fifth turn just by itself, completely fine. But the HP condition, I mean, I think the HP condition, what you could explain on that part of the card is that the guard, like you could take a little bit of damage to their, their guard um, post super, but even then, probably not, no? Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, by the way, is that I do like the fact that this card can do up to two plus supers and that directly supports them building up their attack and defense very easily. That's like there's three plus attacks. You get that off very easily. You can build up all their attack and defense within that first turn of them being on the turn because they can do up to four plus super attacks. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's see what Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is looking like. I say the base form is not too shabby. I see the design. I get where Sam is coming from with the design. But anyways... Uh, links are fierce battle prepare for battle uh tough as nails solid support soul versus soul man i mean i get why that link is there but man cold judgment and gaze of respect and categories are as shown okay so super saiyan 2 gone now i'm going into super saiyan 2 gone uh just knowing that he's gonna be broken i know he's i haven't read this card and i'm just gonna tell you guys pretty certain he's broken because post transformations for custom cards are typically very strong it's just wow it's, it's obvious right <laughs> anyways so super saiyan 2 gohan uh wait what oh he has a unit super i thought i saw a 18 key super i'm like what and bro his unit super is stupid broken okay all right so his new super attack effect he still gets 50 percent attack and defense for four turns while doing immense damage to the enemy and the only change is that he doesn't have the 30 percent chance to seal the enemy he now has a 50 percent chance to stun the enemy so he does get stun chance cool and his unit super attack that he gains after ex exchanging into super saiyan 2 gohan 100 percent attack and defense for seven whole turns and causes immense damage to the enemy and performs a guaranteed crit so a guaranteed crit with a hundred percent attack and defense for seven turns that is a stupidly strong unit super attack effect to have on a, on a character that's crazy anyways uh passive he starts out with 258 percent attack and defense at the start of turn nice full heals you once only very nice 58 percent damage reduction just unrestricted very nice performs a uh, additional Wait, so, excuse me, that says plus additional 160% attack when performing a super attack. I just read that as um, perform additional super. But yeah, plus additional 160% attack when performing a super attack. And launches two additional supers when there is an ally with Goku in its name. Of course, youth, Ginyu, black, etc. excluded. Okay. Um, changes physical key spheres and tech key spheres to int when HP is 58% or above all allies get 10 percent damage reduction self self excluded when this character gets seven key spheres plus an additional 16 percent damage reduction when the domain destroyed stadium is active of course the 16 is uh for 16 being in a card for the base form um and the domain destroyed stadium super class uh, gets 10 percent attack of course, super class allies get additional 10% attack as a support, plus initial 16% attack to Android slash Cell Saga category characters. Okay. And the links do change. He gets uh, Super Saiyan and change for. I think he gets Super Saiyan uh, replaced for like Tough as Nails. He gets Saiyan Warrior Race replaced for what? Saiyan Warrior Race replaces uh, Solid Support, I believe. And Soul versus Soul replaces golden warrior and kamehameha replaces i would like to assume cold judgment or is gaze respect still there it is yeah it replaces cold judgment okay so a couple of things 
Super attack effects, very strong, right? Okay. Um, of course, with the unit super attack effect. Unit super attack effect and regular base super attack effect, very strong. Um, uh, what he has in his kit, I mean, we'll just go over everything offensive and defensive. And 258% uh, attack and defense, a full heal, 58% damage reduction. He uh, launches two guaranteed supers, of course, restricted, but that's still strong. He's a double orb changer to int. Of course with the hp threshold but still strong although it's two to two specific key spheres still good he's a damage reduction support as well as giving himself an additional 16 percent damage reduction wow okay um crazy strong gohan uh and of course he's giving 10 percent attack to super class characters and an additional 16 percent attack for characters who are on andrew's last cell saga so if you are a super class Andrew Class Cell Saga character with this Gohan, right, and preferably want a Goku with this guy, um, you're getting uh, what's that? That's 26% attack with 10% damage reduction. Okay, um, this Gohan is looking pretty nutty, <laughs> pretty pretty nutty. Um, now, is he lacking anything? I would argue no, he's not. You pop it, you pop his uh his exchange like the little active skill, um. What's that? 16% damage reduction or on top of his already 58% damage reduction? Uh, mental math, that's like, I believe uh, that's 64. So that's 74% damage reduction. I believe that's correct. 74% damage reduction when his domain is active. But when his domain is not active, he has a baseline 58% damage reduction. So with the domain up, he's giving uh, super class and class cells on characters. He, and of course, the all allies damage reduction thing. This is just in total. He's giving a total, provided the the, uh, the things are fulfilled, he's giving 26% attack, 10% damage reduction to characters that are within the fulfilled conditions. Um, he has up to 74% damage reduction. He can do up to two guarantee supers. He has a full heal. Uh, I mean, he's looking very good. He's an orb changer that supports his damage reduction to all allies when he gets those seven key spheres. He's looking good. He's, he's strong, okay? Strong, I mean... Strong passive, strong super attack effects. That is that. What is he missing? I would argue the only thing he's missing is a defensive buff on super or his passive because he still doesn't get that in his post uh, his post uh, exchange. Yeah, that's it. That's that's pretty much it. I will not change anything about this post transformation. Very strong. Um, the only things that I would give to his uh, his little pre active skill is a support buff. If I glanced over it, I hope I didn't. I'm pretty sure I didn't. A support buff. Maybe give him like. Three key and 30% attack and defense to Andrew Slash Cell Side characters, and 160% attack with defense when performing a super. That's it. That's all, because I see the vision. Yeah, I mean, I definitely see the vision. Although this character is probably not taking too much damage post super, though. Maybe it could be pretty awkward to get to this active skill transform or active skill exchange. Yeah. And of course, I mean, outside of a bear battle, uh, Prepare for battle, and then, like, that's it. Yeah, tough as nails, solid support, soul versus soul, cold judgment. I mean, cold judgment, prepare for battle, I get on Gohan, as well as Gaze Respect. Solid support and tough as nails is for the 16th part of the card, right? Absolutely. So, um, W card, Sam. I mean, that's gonna be about it. Send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can get to your custom card in the future while I'm getting all these older custom cards out the video. Um, well, out the way not the video <laughs> i'm leaving that in the video but yeah i appreciate you guys for watching you guys are the best i'll catch you guys next time i love you all you guys are the greatest um join the 24 7 discord server a link to join the discord server is down below in the description below you guys have an amazing rest of your day wherever you guys are at peace